All right, what is going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. So, this video is in the title. We're talking about scents. That's the wrong way. We're talking about scent on lures, specifically for perch fishing. And yeah, whether they make a difference or not. This is gonna be just my opinion on the subject. So, yeah, just from like what I've experienced while fishing. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can learn something from it as well. It's kind of an interesting subject. Um, it's actually the second attempt at filming this video. I filmed it while I was out fishing earlier. And I had a massive smudge on the lens. So yeah, now I've just got home. Got to try and do it again. So hopefully I remember everything I said. So scent on lures, specifically for perch fishing. Now you can buy the lures that are already sent in, like the LMAB ones. These come with, let's see if that'll focus on there. Seafood scent, you can see right there. Like pretty much every lure that they make has the seafood scent on it. And that is um, very, very strong. <laughs> that scent lingers for a long time, even when they're not in the packet. So yeah, these are heavily scented. I think the Gunky Lures are scented as well. Um, can't remember any of the brands off the top of my head, but there's other brands that do scented lures as well. Um, so you can get lures that already smell, and you can also get additives that you can put on your lures, like this Ilex uh, Nitro Booster. This is garlic flavor, this is really good actually. Um, it's gonna make my bedroom stink like garlic, which uh, it's not brilliant, but there's worse, worse things your bedroom can smell about, I imagine. So uh, yeah, what was I talking about? Yeah, do they make a difference? So. <clears throat> kind of a little bit of experimenting this year with scents and stuff like that. Uh, it's not something I've ever really thought about before. Um, but do they make a difference? In my opinion, absolutely. Um, they can make the difference between getting finicky fish to bite or not bite. Um, you know, they can turn a hard session into a good session. And uh, yeah, they can just give you that little bit of edge that you might need on a really, really tough day just to get an extra fish or to get a fish to save you from having a blank. So why do scents work, in my opinion, again? So if you're if you're a fish, you see a lure, you want to bite it, and you're a bit fishy, you're, you're a bit cautious of that lure. If it's, if it's got a, a scent that you're attracted to as a fish, um, something that, you know, biologically you want to eat, so a fishy scent like the seafood scent or one like this, you know, the nitro booster, it's got the amino acids and stuff in that the fish just want to eat basically, if that makes it kind of hard to explain. But if you've got that on your lure that can get a fish that's, you know, a bit cautious, maybe it's been caught on a few lures before that haven't got scent and that scent is just going to get it to commit to biting that lure. Um, <clears throat> another thing. This is something I've noticed as well, especially when fishing super, super slow. When you've got scent on the lures, the fish tend to cling on for longer and take the lures a lot better. You get a lot less nibbles. They'll, they'll tend to inhale the bait and just sit with it in the mouth because it's got that flavor. Like you can imagine a fish taking, say you've got one of these LMAB lures, for example, just because they're here. So that, you're fishing it super slow on the bottom, no scent on it. This is scented, but imagine it's got no scent on it. Fish inhales it, feels like a fish, but it doesn't taste like anything, spit it out. Whereas if they inhale it, tastes fishy, or it's, it's got a taste that, you know, they enjoy, um, they're just gonna keep it in the mouth, give you a chance to set that hook. So if you're fishing slow, if you're fishing on a slack line, if, you're, if you've are you got a bow in your line, fishing a river or something like that, give you a chance to wind down on that fish, get a good hook set. And uh, yeah, that's, that's somewhere it really makes a difference, getting the fish to cling on for longer and when you miss the bite, come back for the bait as well. That is something I've noticed. So a couple of times this year, I have actually been out fishing, not getting bites or getting a few nibbles, added scent to the lures, and then like second or third cast, I've had a fish. Um, <clears throat> actually my biggest perch this year, I was in a spot on a river. I knew 100% that there was perch in that spot. Fished for an hour, no bites. I was fishing with, I can't remember, I think I was fishing with a little shad. Just slowly trickling down the river. Added some of this garlic scent. Second cast, boom, PB perch. Like, was it a coincidence? It could have been. But, um, yeah, I think the scent definitely did make a difference to that. Like this, this garlic one, you wouldn't think, <laughs> strong. You, you wouldn't think, um, you know, that the fish would be into the garlic scent, but 
yeah, 100% makes them cling on longer, makes them come back for baits that they've missed, and it makes wary fish commit to the lures. Like, obviously, you know, certain situations, they might be put off by the scents, but from my experience, it only can help. So, um, yeah, obviously, like I say, you can buy you can buy the lures already scented, or you can buy the scent to add to whichever lures you want. You can, you know, soak, put your lures in a bag, put some of this in, you know, mix them up, let them soak in it so they really absorb that smell. And uh, yeah, it makes a difference, you know. Finicky fish, fish that are biting shy, just get them to commit a bit better, get them to um, take the bait fully and, you know, cling on. So, yeah, not really much else to say. It's, it's, not, it's not a broad subject, just my opinion. You know, scents do help. Scents help you get more fish. Scents help you on tricky days. But you've got to remember they're not always going to catch the fish. You know, fish are still going to be wary. Even if you've got the scent on it, it's just like that little edge that you can use to catch more fish. That's, that's what, you, it's what, it's what fishing is all about. You know, finding those little, little tiny details that can make you better angler or catch more fish so you know changing your leader slightly changing the size of your weight changing your hook size adding scent all these little things add up you know add a percent add half a percent chance of getting another fish and that's you know all these little tricks that you can add together and you know you can take your fishing to the next level if that makes sense so yeah i've kind of waffled on a bit probably not made much sense in this video because i didn't really uh script what i was saying or anything but yeah, it's my opinion. These work. I'll leave some links in the description, obviously, you know. You can buy the scented lures, like I said, or you can buy this stuff. Not affiliated with by any means at all. Like there's different brands that make this. This is just what I have and use. And um yeah, that'll do it for this video. Just a quick one. It's talking about smells. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you guys will give scented lures a go because you know it's worth it's worth trying um and yeah i've said the same thing probably about six times in this video so we're gonna call it there hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like subscribe share do whatever you normally want to do let me know any other like talking videos like this that you'd want to see because i kind of enjoy filming them you know just sitting chatting for a little bit about nonsense and uh yeah that's gonna do it for this video so yeah catch you in the next one